Hey everybody, it is Colleen here and I'm here at Beyond Fitness in Delray Beach, Florida. I hope all of you guys are doing really well. I do miss seeing people, but I know there's people out there that are stuck at home, want to have something to do for a workout. This class that we're gonna do today is specifically for Parkinson's. You don't have to have Parkinson's to do it. It will benefit you. We're gonna be doing so many different activities, movements, working on balance, strength, agility, some cardio, and memory. So that's really good for just about everybody. So I know things are a little uncertain right now and we don't even know what brings tomorrow. So all I'm gonna ask you to do is just enjoy this moment. That's all that we can do, right? We're so focused on what's next, what's next. And then we're also in our head, what used to be. So what we can really practice in moments like this is just being fully present in this moment. And if we just imagined ourselves waking up in this moment, in this body for the very first time, and all we had to do today was just love ourselves, take care of ourselves, move, breathe, explore. And every single breath that we take reminding us, let's just be right here right now. So we're gonna have a wonderful workout today and I look forward to hearing from you from comments if you want. And please share this video with as many people as you want. It's totally free it's out there and I just love people and that's why I do what I do. This camera stuff isn't always so comfortable for me, but I am definitely stretching out of my comfort zone. So I wish you guys a great workout and let me tell you what you're going to need. So let me get my equipment, all at home equipment. All right. If you've done my videos before, you know, I use soup cans. This is our resistance. If you have weights, please use weights, but for everyone else, soup cans it is. All right, you're gonna need a box of something. It could be this, it could be a box of pasta, whatever it is, I've got crackers. All right, last but not least, we haven't used this in class before, is a stick. So it could be a broomstick, um, it could be a, a golf club, I don't know, something you have around that's kind of just a little bit long because we're gonna do some stretching and some movement with it. If you do not have this, you can also take a t-shirt and just hold it out, t-shirt stretched out in front of you, and do the movements with a t-shirt. We have done some of that in videos prior. So today we're gonna use this broomstick, and also, I cannot play music in the background here. If I do, they will take my videos off of YouTube. So put some music in your backgrounds and enjoy it. You know, let's have fun, let's keep it light, Let's do our best, that's all that we can do. So move, modify. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different exercises for modifications as well. And uh, yeah, let's just get started. So stand up. All right, now if you have any balance, it's always really nice to have a chair next to you just if you need to hold on to anything. So I'm just gonna push mine to a side so I do not hit it with my stick. So don't have all the equipment, go get it now, pause, come back, and I'll meet you here. All right, now let's get started. Feet are a little wider than hip width apart. Bend your knees a little bit and just kind of feel your center. Feel completely balanced on the right and the left foot right in the middle, okay? Arms are straight down by next to you, a little bit wider than the hips, so the thumbs are just touching the outside of the thighs. Let's just inhale, reach the arms up, and then exhale, bringing them down. Now, as you're doing this, you want to see how straight you can keep your arms. Now, if you have any limited mobility because of your shoulder, modify, go as far as you can. It might look like this. One shoulder might be more open than the other. Do your best, all right? Now, as the arms go up, think lift the chest up and then bring those arms down. So we're gonna keep opening up a little bit more. Lift the chest up. Bring it on down, good. Arms up, lift the chest up, bring it on down. Now we're gonna use your eyes. We're gonna lift the arms up, the chest up, look up, and bring it back down. The knees are slightly bent, feeling that center. Arms, chest, look up, and back down. Let's do two more just like that. Bring those arms up, chest up, look up, 
and slowly down, last one, arms, lift the chest, look up, and bring it back down. Good, let's just straighten the legs because we did have them bent a little bit. Hold that pose straight out in front of you, and we're just gonna rotate it, keeping it parallel to your body. So if I did a sideways view, it would look like this. Just kind of getting those shoulders nice and warmed up. Good. And as you do more of these, you'll find your range of motion gets a little bit more. Try to keep those arms straight. I know when I'm in class, I see people bending their elbows a little bit to get a little further. And let's do a few more. And you'll see you're opening each time a little bit more. Perfect, good. Let's reach those arms up. Take those arms out nice and wide. So before we have them in, we're gonna take them out nice and wide. Feel like you're pulling apart. Now if you have a t-shirt, you can do this with a t-shirt too. And we're just gonna tip side to side. Inhale as you go over, exhale as you come up. Inhale, feel that opening on the side, exhale. We're just really taking our time to open up our body, using our breath to just open up those spaces in between the ribs, right? Strengthening, opening up those lungs. So breathe. One more. Good, let's bring those arms slowly back down. Good, we're gonna keep them just where they are, nice and wide, and we're gonna move our arms in a circle. So they're going to one side, they go overhead, then both arms go over to the other side. So you can take your time with these, it's not quick. We'll work on all that other stuff just a little bit later. Loosening up their shoulders, and again, we breathe. Enjoy your breath. And let's switch directions. So, feels good in the shoulders and feels good to move the body. And every time you breathe, every time you move, just think about all that you're doing for this body, right? And use your thoughts as you're moving, as you're breathing, saying like, I love my body. I love the way I take care of myself, good? And all we're doing is just our best right now. All right, perfect. Arms are up over the head. I'm going to come a little bit closer so you can see this one here, what we're doing. So my arms are up over my head. I'm going to pull down the bar to the, my collarbone. All right. When I do this, I'm going to push my elbows back and squeeze my shoulder blades together. So I'm going to go up over my head, pull it down to my chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So it's going to be inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale up, exhale down, squeeze those shoulder blades. Think about opening up that collarbone, right? That collarbone's getting longer as we do this one. Inhale, exhale, good. We're gonna take our arms and we're gonna bring them straight up over our head. We're gonna keep the arms straight. You can grab hold with the fingers and we're gonna lift our shoulders up and down. Shoulders up and down, up and down, like as if you're saying, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what's going on, neither do I. <laughs> Go up and down, good, let's do two more, up and down, up and down, perfect. Just put them down, roll the shoulders back. All right, next one, we're gonna grab our pose, palms face forward, okay? Grabbing hold, Nice like that. The arms are going down by our side. Bars right in front of you. Now we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up over your head. Exhale, bring them back down. Good, inhale and exhale. And again, you might notice as you're doing this one that your arms only go this far or it's a little crooked because one shoulder's open. That's okay. You're just gonna keep working. Wherever it's good, maybe they go that far back. Everyone has different ranges of motions. Remember, we just woke up in this body today and we're just going to move it the best that we can right now. Forget about what it was yesterday. Don't worry about what it's gonna to be tomorrow. We're just being with ourselves in this present moment. Can you enjoy feeling, moving your body, breathing? All right, good, we're gonna keep adding to this one. So I'm gonna go sideways for you. All right, so we're gonna go up over our head. 
We're gonna bend behind us, straighten the arms, and bring it back down. So it's gonna go up, go down a little lower, down and up. There we go, so all the way down, reach them up, bend the elbows, straighten, and bring them back down. Let's do it forward. Up, bend, straighten, all the way back down. Good, up, bend, straighten, all the way back down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, good, inhale, exhale, good. So that's to get those arms or shoulders a little bit more open. Let's just take that pose and we're gonna bring it behind our back and we're gonna hook our elbows in between. If you don't have a pose, you can just take bend your elbows by your side, that's the side view. What you're gonna do is you're going to bend your knees a little bit, you're going to lean forward. All right, so if this is what it's gonna look like sideways. My arms are just relaxing here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to turn to one side, let one shoulder go down, one shoulder go up, and then come back to center. And we're gonna to twist to the other. So the side that I'm twisting to, this leg is going to be straight and the other leg is going to be bent. I actually take my forearm and push it into that leg as I twist. I come back up and I twist. Good, and this could be anything that feels good. All right, it might not look like this. It might just be like this for now. You're just twisting as much as you can. All right, we're just trying to get in that waist Nice and open. Keep going. Also a forward version. Sideways. Sideways. Last one. And good. Let's come back to center. Let's take our post and we're going to bring it straight out in front of us. We're going to take our feet really wide. All right. So and our toes are going to be forward. And when we do this exercise, our weight is going to stay in our heels. We're going to start at the post one hand on top of the other, okay? We're gonna walk our hands all the way down the post, one hand on top of the other, bending the knees, and going all the way to the bottom. And then one hand on top of the other, making your way up to the top. Now, if you don't make it all the way to the bottom, you go down as far as you can. Now look, as I'm doing this, I'm looking straight ahead. All right, I'm keeping my chest up. I'm not going all the way down here. The bending is in my legs. The weight is in my heels. I'm strengthening those legs. And one hand on top of the other. So keep going. Taking your time, bend. Here my knees are gonna start to bend. And this might be just it right here. And then you come back on up. Maybe each time you wanna get a little bit further. And that's fine too. Work wherever you're at. So I'll do a couple middle. And then the next time I'll see if I can get a little bit deeper. My weight's in my heels, remember that. And get those hands, one hand on top of the other. Working on coordination. I got a little bit lower on that one. Good. One hand up. This is good for getting those legs warmed up strengthening those legs and let's make our way up one last time or whatever number you're on perfect all right so let's put our post away we could do many different tricks with this but that's all going to be for today all right so let's get our body a little bit more warmed up with some functional movements so just kind of crisscross those arms a little bit of side to side movements. Again, if you need a chair, you put one in front of you for balance, all right? Good. We're gonna get that body nice and loose. So just kind of shake the arm, shake the legs. Give yourself just kind of a little bounce in the body. A little bounce, a little bounce. Let the arms be wiggly. Shake, shake, shake. Get everything stimulated. Move those arms like crazy. Yeah, make some noises. <laughs> All right, enjoy, enjoy. Get that body. Just kind of jiggle around, jiggle, jiggle. You can just move the feet, move the arms. 
you got some good music, you could definitely get some tribal stuff going on here. Move, move, move. The more crazy, the better. All right, keep it up. Another 10 more seconds. Just wiggle it, wiggle it. Maybe you got a little twist, a little bounce side to side. Shake the arms up, shake the arms down. Over here, over there. All right, good job. All right, so we're getting that body moving, getting a little more loose, getting that energy flowing. All right, so let's work on stepping forward. All right, again, you need a chair. You're gonna turn sideways so you can hold on to the side of it as you do this. If not, no worries, push it aside. All right, so let's take our body. We're gonna step forward with one leg. All right, we're gonna hold here. The back leg straight, the front knees bent. We're gonna take the arms out to the side. And every time we step forward, we're gonna turn right, then left. And then we're gonna step back and the arms are gonna go down. All right, so let's do it. Switch the other side. Step forward, to a side, to side, back to center, and everything comes back. Now, step, twist, twist, center, and back. All right, twist. Doesn't matter which side you twist to first. I know I'm doing the opposite of you, so I will definitely make sure I use my, I'll be left, but then that will be right. Because <laughs> we're doing opposite. Here, twist, twist, center, here. Modification with the chair, keep going. I'm gonna take the chair, hold on to it. I'm gonna turn to one side, turn to the other side, step back. All right, I can do this. I can turn my body. So my whole rib cage is gonna move side to side. Keep going, I'm just gonna talk about stuff <laughs> as you do this, right? So if you wanna feel, you can take your fingers on your rib cage once you get here and feel it moving, right? Not just the head and step, all right? And then you got that, then you can take the arms, twist, twist, back together. All right. Perfect, that's for that one. Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna take our left hand and bring it onto our right shoulder. We're gonna step out to our left as far as we can. The arm is going to go out and we're gonna come across and touch that shoulder. Step out and touch the shoulder. Now you're gonna use the head is going to follow the arm. So it's gonna step out, look at the hand, come back. Step out, look at the hand, come back. Now we're gonna spread the fingers. Spread those fingers as wide as you can. That's it. See like the webbing on your fingers. Reach and touch that shoulder. Step, look, touch that shoulder. Good, let's do two more. And last one, together. Good, right hand's gonna touch your left shoulder. Do the same old thing on the other side. We're gonna step out, reach the arm out. My fingers are spread nice and wide. And I'm gonna look at my hand. Come on back, give it a little set, and back, there you go. Step out, look, and touch. Good, and just kind of enjoy, like moving. Enjoy. Ah. <laughs> Can be a little dramatic about it, have fun with it. Da -da. Da -da. Good, let's do two more. Open, touch, open, Touch, perfect. All right, so we got our forwards, we got our sideways. Now we're gonna work on stepping backwards. So when we step backwards, it's really important to when we land, we're gonna land on our toe. So I'll show you, I'll show you this way. So I step back, I'm gonna keep, I'm just gonna land on my toe and I'm gonna keep my heel up. So I'm gonna step backwards, my leg is gonna be straight and I'm gonna push off that toe. All right, so I'm gonna step back and push off that toe. All right, so I want you to be using the strength here. So this is what it's gonna look like, really simple. We're gonna step back, lay on the toe, drop the heel, push up, and come back. Step, heel, toe. Get a nice range, step, heel down, up with the heel, and back. So I want you to gain your power. So I'm gonna step back and push off. Push off. Now if you can, move those arms. Feel that foot moving. 
toe landing first. Get that stretch in your calf. Now another thing I see when I work with people is this will go back and the chest will go down. We want the body to stay up nice and tall. So here, and look straight ahead. Find something that you can look at right in front of you. Okay, just move and move and good. And see if you can just like pick it up a little bit. Back and forth, back and forth. Keep it going, all right? Keep it going, don't stop. I see you, so keep everything moving. Back and forth, back and forth. Good, just for five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, all right. That's all we're gonna do for those movements. Now what you're gonna need is your box and your two cans. All right, so I am going to set that up on the ground so you can see okay it's gonna look like that let me angle down so we can get a good view and you're just going to be able to see my feet from now for this next portion all right so you've got two soup cans on the side i would say this is about two feet ish all right your box you want it up high, if you, it's too high for you, you lower it down. And again, if balance is an issue, you put your chair in front of the setup so you can hold on to the back of it. All right, so you're not gonna see my face, but you're gonna, you're gonna watch my feet on this one. All right, so we're just gonna work on stepping up and over our cans, all right? We've done this in some of the other videos. You're gonna step up and over. Good, keep going. And practice lifting those knees up. All right, lift them up, land in those spots. Good, up and over. Good, how high can you get your knee? And on that outside of that last soup can, how big can we get that step? Then you step in. It's gonna go little, little big, right? Get into these little spots in here, and then how big, and how far away from that soup can can you get? In, in, wide. Good. Keep it going. That's it. I'm imagining I'm watching you guys, so keep on going. <laughs> That's it, good. Make sure we're stepping over and we're not sneaking behind it. All right, let's do one more over to the other side. And perfect. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand behind our one box. All right, so you're gonna get your soup can over here that's on your left side. And you're going to take it, you're gonna take that left foot and step it back and drop that can behind you. And then you're gonna come back here. You're gonna bend down and pick up the soup can on your right side, and you're gonna take a giant step forward in an angle, and you're gonna drop it down and come back. So basically, the soup cans are making a diagonal. All right, move this chair out of the way. All right, so this, this is your starting point and your ending point. We're gonna step back with our left leg, and we're gonna reach for the soup can behind us. Then our feet are gonna come together. We're gonna step forward to the soup can, reach down and touch. Step back. Here, feet come back to that box and step. So you wanna try to always stay right behind that box, not get crazy and move in different points. That's just your starting point and ending point. Land with both toes forward. So I'm always coming back to my toes forward, not one crooked one that way. Okay, so keep going. Reach and touch, feet come together. Reach back and touch, feet come together. Forward, together, back, together. Good, let's just do a few more in this direction. And then we'll move our cans to the opposite. And good, let's come back to center. So let's pick up our soup cans, 
put them back down in front of us and we'll reverse that. So we'll pick up our soup can that's on our left side, right? We'll start in our box, behind our box. We'll step forward, hit the angle. Let's say it's probably about two o'clock. Drop down that soup can at two o'clock, all right? Well, let's pick up our soup can, grab and step back. That's about seven, eight o'clock back. All right, and we bring her back. So the same thing, we're gonna step over with our left foot, reach and touch soup can, come behind that box, step back with the right, and come back. You don't have to get down. If you need to hold that chair, but keep going. I'm gonna talk. This is where your chair would be, right? So I got my chair here, I'm standing behind my soup can. I'm gonna reach here, hold on to my soup can, and just reach back, all right? So that would be the chair version. Reach, touch, come back. Reach, come back. Good. Keep it going. Keep going, guys. I'm just gonna come down here and cherry on, step forward, make sure we get a nice reach, really stretch those arms out, and then come back to your box. Step back. You bend the knee that's closest to the soup can. That's where most of the weight's gonna go. And then push off that leg to get yourself standing back on up. Keep going. We'll do a few more in each direction. <sighs> Some crackers. <laughs> Free advertisement. All right, keep going a little bit more again on each side. And breathe. Remember, we're not holding our breath. We're just enjoying reaching and touching, coming back. Reaching and touching, coming back. All right, muy bien. All right, so you guys are done with that one. We still have one more exercise with these two soup cans and box. So, you're gonna pick them up. You don't do it the way I did. And we're gonna, just gonna put them right there. All right, stand on up. And again, bounce. If you have any balance issues, you're gonna put your chair it's going to be about, eh, put it a foot and a half away from where the boxes are. That's where you need to. So we're going to be doing some movement around the box. We're going to be facing forward. We're going to start over here on the right side. And we're going to be moving around, keeping ourselves forward. So we're just going to do a figure, figure eight, right? We're zigzagging. And what I want you to do is when you're doing these, take big steps doesn't have to be fancy right big steps go around go behind go in front go behind go in front go behind and front so just going back and in the front of something behind something then we're going to go in front of something back now what i want you to do is make sure keep going I don't want little steps, all right? And I want the feet to be quiet when you do this. Quiet, nice and quiet. Try to land as if we're doing a beautiful waltz. One, two, three, one. I'm just kidding. I don't know, the, I know the waltz sorta. <laughs> but I'm sure some of you guys might know it a lot better than me. But there we go, we're just taking our big steps and we're moving and are dancing around this. It's not quick, it's not working on speed, it's not working on heart rate, it's maneuvering around something, going sideways and backwards and forwards and sideways and backwards. Move it all around, good. All right, perfect. That was good for our movement with our equipment. We're gonna put our boxes away and all we need now is our soup cans. Let me angle up so we can do our weights. All right. I always forget about time, so let's see. How long have we been playing for? Oh, 30 minutes. We gotta start boxing soon. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna come down lower so I can see you guys. All right, so here's our soup cans standing up nice and straight. I'm on my knees just so I can see you get, see you can see me in the video better and stuff really far back behind there. All right, so first of all, take a smile. smile. Enjoy, take a breath, and a big old sigh out. <sighs> okay, all's well. All right, so perfect. 
we're going to have our soup cans. And if you don't have soup cans and these soup cans are too heavy, do it with no, nothing. Or if you have one two pound weights. Arms are gonna be by our side. So I think let me angle this down just a smidge, just a little bit so you can see the bottom of the arms. Okay, so my palms are gonna be forward. I'm gonna take the arms out to my side. Now I'm gonna show you the sideways view so you can see it. When I take my arms out to my side, they are not directly out to the side. They're about eh, 10 degrees more forward. That would be out to the side straight. This is slightly forward. So I want you to make sure you do that. I don't want any issues with our shoulders. If this, for some reason, bothers your shoulders, don't do it. Just do it without any weights. Pretend you have, you have soup cans in your hands. Do the same exercise. There's no point of hurting yourself to prove any kind of point here. All right, so here we go. We're standing up tall. Whenever we do an exercise, we wanna make sure we stand in the posture we are creating in our body. So if you're gonna stand round it forward, we're gonna reinforce this when we exercise. So if I have you do this exercise, you're gonna just make this more prominent. So when you stand up, think that chest, lift it up. That, that ch middle of your chest bone, just push it on up. That gets those shoulders snap right into place, right? That's what you wanna do is lift it up. Feel your rib cage lifting. All right, got that? So we're gonna lift the arms out the side, dump out the soup, bring it back up, lower it down. Let me go just a little bit further back. I think my arms are getting cut out a little bit. Bingo, that's better. So I'm standing, I'm not on my knees, but so your arms are up, dumping, back up, and bring it back down. So it's gonna be inhale, exhale. Or you know what? I'm just happy that you get nice deep breath in, and out. We're not holding our breath. So any way that you want to breathe, you can. I was always taught on the harder part of the exercise, the more exertion, you inhale. Exhale on the easier part. So exhale, right? Those arms are going down. A lot easier, right? Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. You want to take your time going down. Don't let the arms just drop down. Let's do about three more. One. Good. Two. Good. Keeping that breath. And three. Perfect. Good. Just put those down. Shake out those arms. Roll the shoulders back. So everything we're doing is for strengthening around the shoulders, for more strength and mobility around our shoulders, and to prevent shoulder injuries. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to work the rear delts. So the rear delts are those muscles in between, here's your shoulder blades, right? So it's the muscles in between the shoulder blades. And what we wanna do is we wanna squeeze the shoulder blades together in our back, bringing them closer together when we do this exercise. And basically what that's going to do is we're gonna strengthen in between here, right? and that's going to pull the shoulders back. Okay, now, one thing to do when you do this one is if our chest is down, right? We don't have that chest lifted, we do this, and we pull the shoulder blades together, the head will go forward and there's all this tension in the neck. No, no, we don't want to do that. So, again, we're gonna think, lift the chest up, First, you're gonna hold your cans straight out in front of you. I don't have my cans with me because I'm just not gonna use the weight on this one. I'm gonna show you without it. Then I'm gonna take my arms out. Remember how they stopped right about 10 degrees forward? And then I'm just gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together, bring them back in front, lower them down. Okay, so let me show you the front view. All right, imagine I have my cans here. I'm holding on, I'm going up taking them so they stop at 10%, squeeze my shoulder blades together, my chest is up, bring them in front, let the cans touch, and lower down. Okay, I'll do it with the cans now. So up, out, squeeze, bring back, and lower. Up, out that little bit, then the squeeze, 
come together, bring it down. Good. Keep going with your soup hands. I'm taking my break from my soup hands. Squeeze, back, together. Good. Up, out, squeeze, back together, and lower. Chest is up the whole entire time. You're doing awesome. Ugh, lift it up a little higher. There you go. Good. Breathe in, rush. You may have taken a couple of breaths. But when you keep going, but when you open up that chest, really breathe in. Get that. Even if you have to hold it out there, just feel that opening, getting all that beautiful air into your chest. Keep going. Same thing. I'm just stopping to chit chat. <laughs> there we go. Up and forward and down. Good. Doop. Up and back down let's do one more give those shoulders a rest after this and perfect all right we just got one more strength exercise then we're going to go into the boxing part all right so we've got our cans in front of us elbows touching our side imagine you're holding something in between your body and that forearm i'm not going to use my can but that was just an example and you're going to just go out and in out and in. Doesn't have to go crazy far. I just kind of want to feel this. This is in for like those rotators. If for any reason this hurts your rotator, put the cans down. Just go through the motion, the range of motion here. All right, so out and in, out and in. Let's do five. Breathe. Four. Nice and easy. Three, two, last one, one. Perfect. All right, so let's put our cans aside. Now, if for some reason you guys got boxing gloves, get your boxing gloves on now. All right, I'm gonna use boxing gloves. Um, so, and here's the point in the class where you might wanna get a zip of water. We're gonna do a couple different boxing combinations. Um, so I know in the other videos I taught you one, two, three, four, five, six, and we did seven, eight, the knee lifts. So, if you aren't familiar with those, Please go back to some of the other videos. Make sure that you have an understanding of what those are so that when you come into this, you're not like, wait, what's that? You'll still be able to pick it up. You'll still be able to move, but it is easier when you know it. Okay, so I got a white erase board here. What we're gonna do for warm up is we're just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's it. Really easy. I'm just gonna put the first one. You guys can remember that one, right? Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. But I'm still gonna show you. All right. So we're gonna just do that for our warm up. And remember when we do our one, two, three, four, five, six, we are gonna use our whole entire body. All right. So you're gonna step back with your dominant foot. That's gonna be my right foot. My left foot's forward. My hands are up. We're gonna go one, two, three is a twist. Four is a twist. Five is a dip, six is a dip. All right, so whenever we do this, one and two are pushing forward motions. Boom, my weight's going into my front foot. Three and four are rotating motions. Five and six are bend and lift, bend and lift where we get our power from our legs. So a lot of it is from our legs, right? So I'm gonna go one, lean forward. Two, twist, three, four, five, six, keep going, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, keep going, I'm gonna come over here and do it with nice and close up so you can see it, um, so I'm here, all right, so, okay, go ahead, one, two, twist for three, twist for four, Bend for five, bend for six. And we bend at our legs. We're not going to be just bringing ourselves down. I see a lot of people just down and up. Keep going, I'm talking, you keep going. Keep going, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, make sure after every one, those hands come back to our face, right? 
one hand comes back, two hand comes back, three hand comes back. Always protecting that face. I know we're not fighting, but it's still an important part of the exercise is to bring the hands back up, right? We tend to forget about that. So it's just a memory one too. All right, keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna do a little bit of endurance and counting. So we're gonna do 30 punches, all right? Just ones and twos. So we're gonna be here and we're just going to go one, two, three, four. All right, we're gonna count to 30. But what I want you guys to do when you do this is I want you guys to count it out loud. All right, so I'm gonna come here close up. I'm on my knees, but you're gonna be standing. All right, so get those hands up, elbows in, and make sure when we get those arms punched out, they're fully extended out, right? I don't wanna see, this is what I see sometimes in my class. I see beep, 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 beep. No, all the way out and come back in. All right, voices, endurance, all right? So I'm gonna get nice and loud on this one. You can even get your hands, prepare, ah! All right, fun stuff. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, loud, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, keep it up, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, good. Now we're gonna do a combination. I'm gonna write down that combination on the board. All right, so we already did that one, two, three, four, five, six. Next one we're gonna do is a one, one, two, five, two. All right, one, one, two, five, two. All right, so look at it. So if you're a visual, that's the combination. Take a little mental picture, one, one, two, five, two. All right, I hope it's not backwards. <laughs> All right, because I don't know what it looks like on the other side of this. So one, one, two, five, two. Get in that boxing position, right? We're going to step our dominant foot back. So that's going to be my right foot. Hands up. All right. Ready. We're going to do it. Ready? One, one, two, five, two. Right? Jab, jab, cross, uppercut, cross. If you want those words out of it. Ready? So remember the numbers, okay? One. One, two, five, two. Again, one, one, two, five, two. Remember that five, you bend down. One, one, two, five, two. Again, one, one, two, five, two. I'm gonna be quiet on this, but do the same punch. You guys count it out. Again, I'm quiet. Good, I'm gonna be still. You guys remember the movements without me, go. Good, let's do it one more time. And good. All right, we'll come back to that combination and we will definitely be adding to it. It's gonna get more challenging. All right, so remember that one, one, two, five, two, because we will add more numbers to that when we come back. Right now, we just counted out 30. The last time we're gonna count to 40. Elbows in, hands to your face, get those lungs ready. I want you guys to put yourself into this. Like, Yell it out, all right? We're gonna do is, we're gonna go 20 of them, kind of nice and slow, then we're gonna pick up the pace for the last 20. So I want you to count faster and punch faster. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. All right, pretty easy, right? All right, so far so good. All right, let me add to my combination. So we have that one, one, two, five, two. Then what we're going to do is a duck. So we're gonna bend down, we're gonna duck down. So one, one, two, five, two, duck. 
We're gonna come up. We're gonna give ourselves a three, two, one. All right, so three, two, one. So it's going to be this. Just look, skip the first line because that was our warm up. One, one, two, five, two, duck. Come up, do a three, two, one. So far, so good, right? So let's just, I'm gonna erase this so no one gets confused. One, one, two, five, two, duck, three, two, one. All right, let me get my gloves on. I'll do it with you, and then you guys will do it without me talking, and then you'll do it without me talking and moving. All right, step your dominant foot back, hands up by your, by your face, elbows in. Ready? One, one, two, five, two, duck. Three, oops, oops, sorry, three, two, one. Sorry, I'm teaching reverse, so I totally messed it up. Whoops, it is just, all right, see, we all mess up. Ready, let's do that again, ready? One, one, two, five, two, duck, three, two, one. Good, all right? Then what I want you to do after that is just move your feet to a different position. After every combination, just move in the room just a little bit so we're not stuck in the same spot. Ready? One, one, two, five, two, duck. Three, two, one. I'm gonna move a little more over here now. Let's do it. One, one, two, five, two, duck. Three, two, one. All right, move, all right. Let's do it again. I'm gonna be quiet on this one. You guys get the combination, all right? Good, I'll be quiet on this one again, ready? Good, I'm gonna be quiet and still. See if you can get that combination. Hmm, I guess you all got that. All right, perfect. Let's do our count of 50 now. 50 punches, all right? Hands up, elbows in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Slow, medium, fast. All right, so first 20, nice and slow. Second set of 20, that kind of medium fast. Last 10, as loud and as fast as we can go. So even with our volume, see when we get higher and higher, it's the loudest we can go by the end. All right, ready? Let's start off nice and relaxed. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. All right, muy bien, I hope you all have a good day. All right, muy bien, I hope you all had fun with that one. All right, good job, guys. We are going to stretch and do a little meditation. So if you had gloves, take them off. If you didn't, get ready, get in a chair. Let's do our stretches. All right. Pause, get yourself a chair. I don't know, once you got your chair, come on back. All right, so here we are, stretchy part. Hope you guys had fun today. A little exciting for you. So let's take one arm out. Cross it over your chest, get a nice stretch in that shoulder. Relax the shoulder. So, when we do our breathing, I really want you to focus on nice, long, slow breaths. So breathe in and out. Just like enjoy. Wow, that breath felt really good. And let's switch to the other side. Cross it over and just get in there and close your eyes and just Ah, feels good. Just take that beautiful breath. Good. Reach one arm up, doesn't matter. Pat yourself on the back. The other hand either comes and pushes the tricep further back or grabs up the elbow to walk the arm closer in. Now, lift the chest up. 
breathe. You can look up with your eyeballs. Breathe in and out. Good, smile. Let's do the other side, other arm up. Pat yourself on the back, pull that arm in as best you can and just look up, breathe. As you're breathing these few breaths, just like appreciate, appreciate this moment. Okay, here we go. Just appreciate feeling, all the feelings you're feeling. Right, this is life passing right through us in this beautiful moment. Good, let's take the arms down, roll the shoulders back. I'm gonna slide back a little bit so you can see my legs, but we are gonna extend one leg out, pull the toes back, and we're gonna lean forward and reach for the toes. And again, we're just taking that breath, just chilling, letting our legs relax. Make sure you're at the front edge of your chair. If you're sitting far in the back of your chair, you're gonna have the chair cut off the middle of the back of your thigh, not too comfortable. So breathe in and keep those toes pulled back and the leg is straight. Don't bend the knee to try to get to the toe. Really, no point in that. And let's switch to the other side. Other leg out in front, toes pulled back and let's reach forward. And breathe, breathe, breathe. <sighs> Good, perfect. Let's come back one up and come a little forward so we can see here. And we're going to cross one ankle over our upper thigh and just take our hands on that knee and pull the knee towards our opposite shoulder. So the shoulders relax. We don't wanna create any more tension in our body. Close your eyes and think about letting your hips relax as much as they can. Just, I'm gonna talk to my hips. Hips, you can relax now. Ah, okay. You know, they, they'll listen to you, right? It's crazy how much our mind has such an effect on our body. Let's switch to the other side. Good, let's cross it over, pull that knee in, and bring it to the opposite shoulder. It's so neat how our mind controls our body, right? Like, think about our thoughts, how many thoughts we have. And imagine every thought filters through every cell of our body, right? And our body feels when we're thinking and obsessing and we're fearing and it gets tight, it cringes. It's like, ah. So I want you to practice finding a space of peace in your day a little more. And imagine if you hold that space of peace, how that's going to affect your, bo affect your body. Instead of getting all tight, your body's just going to go, oh my gosh, I can let go, I can just breathe. This feels so much better. All right, we're gonna work on that in the meditation. So take your hands, interlace your fingers behind your head, lean back, take a little rest, push the elbows back, breathe into this chest, up into that collarbone, breathe in and then get a sigh out. Oh. Breathe in, let the exhale just fall out. Oh. Breathe in. Let the breath fall out. Oh, perfect, lovely. All right, here's the good stuff. It's time to meditate. If you guys haven't meditated before, no big deal. It's really just about relaxing, letting go. All right, something that we can bring into our day. So sit back in your chair, relax. Let your feet be relaxed. Kind of just check, is the body relaxed? Is my shoulders relaxed? And close your eyes. What we're gonna do is physical exercise. We work on our outside. This is our practice now to bring our work to our inside, right? Our inside, once we work on that inside and that's strong and solid and it, it blossoms and it expels outwards, right? So there's, we can't do anything about what's going on out here, right? I, I can do some things, but I can't really take control of the whole situation. Not much of it. But what I can do and what I have learned even deeper in this time when we're kind of at home and we're a little more isolated is cultivating my inner world and really just finding the space of peace. And that's what I want to bring you guys into today in our meditation. So close your eyes. We are going to let the outer world disappear right now. 
and you're just gonna breathe in and out, right? The outer world, imagine it's just gone, right? And here we are, we're in this space. We're even gonna let who we think we are go for the moment, right? We're gonna let, we're gonna let Colleen go. You're gonna let, I don't know your name, but you're gonna let that person go. And just breathe, be a breath. And I want you to let this breath be an expression of peace. Like, what would it feel like if I breathed in peace with every breath? And I was just an expression of a peaceful being. That's it. Breathe in. Right? This the body, the vessel you're in. Let it feel peace. Let your mind experience peace. So there's no longer in this moment anything that was before. So, right, like I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm just gonna erase the past for a second. And I, I don't have the capacity right now to even think about what's next. Right, we're gonna imagine this. And we're just going to be here, right? If I can't think of head, or I can't think about what was, what am I thinking about, right? There's not too much. And I want you to find this space within you, right? That's that quiet space. And I was listening to um, Eckhart Tolle the other day, he was in the power of now, and he said something good. He says, ask yourself, I wonder what my next thought will be, and listen. If you ask yourself, what will my next thought be? And you just wait for it. Just try it for a sec. Wait and listen. And you might find yourself just waiting. What is it? And what you're doing is you're practicing presence awareness. You're in that space where you're just being present. Like, you're not thinking, you're like waiting for thought. And when you wait for thought, it doesn't even want to come in. It's kind of funny like that. Experience peace now. Everything within you is peace. Everything within you is balanced and calm and strong. Now when I say so, you feel that peace within you, I'm gonna tell you to open your eyes, not yet. And when I want you to open your eyes, I want you just to look around the room. Imagine you're looking at everything for the first time. And this time when you look around, imagine you're just looking at peace. All right, so let's open our eyes and just slowly look around at everything. Look at it. I'm looking at a window, so I see trees, but whatever it is, Look at it with an expression of peace. Ah, maybe some comfort. Perfect. Now, we bring our palms together in front of our heart center. We do this, it's just a gesture honoring that peace, right? That peace that's within us, it's in each of us. Only thing that's between that 
right? So when up here is all quiet, pause in your day. Take a breath. Remember, connect to feel. Let that feed every part of you. All right, so I honor each of you. I wish you guys a beautiful day. Practice this piece. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, my website is Beyond Fitness Del Rey, and on there's my email and also my phone number. So if you have any questions, please call. And anything that you want to do in class, please let me know because I'm here to help you guys. So I love you guys and enjoy. All right. Bye, guys.